should I buy a proper cycling specific pair of sunglasses or just use my casual sunglasses? How you going guys? So today we're going to talk about sunglasses for cycling. Most of my friends have been, have been asking me, um, do I need a, a cycling specific sunglasses? Or can I just use my my casual sunglasses for when I go for cycling? For some people, they found it a bit radical or kind of out of place when you use a, a cycling specific sunglasses or a sports specific sunglasses where in your just normal casual clothes going shopping or just driving around or just strolling at the beach. But also, um, if there are let's say fuzzy people who actually want the most of, of the performance of their sunglasses so when they go riding they perform well and it actually fits the activity that they're doing so for those people who have actually have enough beef in their wallet so by any means just go go ahead and get two pairs but if you are in, in the dilemma and you can only buy one pair of sunglasses that can do it all I might have just the right one for you. Enter the Oakley Cross Range Shield. All right, so without further ado, let's open up this bad boy. All right, here we go. Um, please excuse the packaging, thanks to the courier and how they handle it. But um, yeah, let's unbox this bad boy. Alright, it comes with this some paperwork. And let's this leave this aside first and check what's what else are in the box. So what comes with more paperwork. There we go. Alright, let's see the actual thing. Ooh. So what I have here is the Oakley Cross Range Shield with the Prism Sapphire lenses. Sweet. So what's good with this one is it comes with an extra temple or arms for casual use, which is just the old matter which is Oakley's um, plastic material and what's currently installed in it is a, a sport temple which got rubberized for surfaces for the ear so it actually holds on onto the um, to your skin when you get a bit sweaty so let's see let's try it on He's so got flash lens there going on. So now the the main question is, how does it actually perform when you go cycling? Well, I don't know yet. We've just unboxed it, so let's take it for a spin and find it out. Alright, so the first thing that I've noticed when I put it on for the first time is how similar it is to a Sutra, uh, which is a good thing or a good sign. And for you guys who don't know what a Sutra is, is a, a Sutra is actually a one of Oakley's um, proper cycling specific sunglasses. Uh, one imp important factor that we need to talk about is the uh, comfortability of the um, of the sunglasses. So, the material of the sunglasses is made of um, uh, mainly um, O matter, which is Oakley's um, version of a plastic material, and some patchings of a rubber-like material, 
which Oakley calls it as a unobtainium. So please excuse me if I haven't um, pronounced it properly. And uh, this pair is actually perfectly comfortable and, and light and um, it hugs your face perfectly. Uh, the second thing is the lens. Um, I like it how it's got a mono lens, if you will, um, which makes it uh, like a go goggle type. And th those are the kinds of uh, sunglasses that are good for cycling because it goes across your face and it's it protects you properly from, from the debris coming at you like small stones and dusts and whatnot. And I mentioned about um, how, how it hugs your face uh, nicely. Um, I want to elaborate more about that, that um, it's good to have a really perfectly curved uh, lens that hugs your face perfectly. So aside from being aerodynamic or having a marginal gain advantage, if you will, but my point being here is um, it's good to have a nice curved lens. Uh, aside from it, it also protects your eyes from the wind. It also works well in keeping your, the, the frame planted on your face, especially when you turn your head to the left or to the right and not being blown off your face. Uh, one other nice feature of the sunglasses is it's got a vent at the top of the lens so it avoids it from fogging the lenses. And the last and most important feature for me is how it's got a space at the top part of the lens which is uh, very useful when you go on in the aero position and you tuck down and still gives you a good view of the road or the, the path that you're going and not a part of the frame is blocking your view. What's the verdict? Here, let me put it on. Alright. Okay. It's actually not too bad. Do I recommend this? Yes, 100%.